My watch is telling me to breathe. I don't know what that means. Okay. Oh no, I doubled my move goal. It's 10.30 in the morning. I have to set my goals higher. <laughs> I set the bar real low. Okay, what was I talking about? Maybe you've been waiting for a title like this. Maybe you've been thinking about a title like this because it is probably the most common artist problem that you've heard. The starving artist. You hear this all the time. Is that familiar? I don't care where you are in the world, you've heard of starving artists, unless you don't speak English, in which case, um, well, we'll translate it to... Find out what the... Ming, how do you say starving artist in Mandarin? Isud Shah. You know how you say uh, artist color in German? Kunstlerfarben! There's no like nice way of saying, yeah, okay. At the end of the day, the reality is, it's really hard to make a living as an artist. And that goes beyond just fine art. I mean, whether you want to be a professional chef, a dancer, an actor, it is hard to make it in the art business. And anybody who says differently is a Kardashian. What am I here to do? I'm here to talk to you about ways that you can help overcome this. It is that cliche, the starving artist. Not everybody's, you know, that, you know, bohemian starving artist, but you know, I think that everybody wants to save money. Everybody wants to be, you know, conscientious and, and all that jazz. I think that's, that's really where I'm going with this. So what are some things we can talk about? What are some things that people don't want you to know about? Well, I'm not going to tell you all of them, but I'll tell you some, okay? It's going to be exciting. The first thing, and this is kind of my rule for life. It's very biblical. It is. It's biblical, okay? This is, this is going to sound not like me, but it, it's true. Feast or famine. That is how things work. If you look at, you know, just the recent history, there are cycles where everybody's doing great and then everybody's not doing so great. You need to prepare for cyclicalness in the fact that with art, unless you have a full-time job doing art, there are going to be times that you have tons of commission work and then other times that you don't have it. So if you're in those up periods, it's important that you're saving for the down periods, okay? You got to prepare. I did Joseph in the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat when I was uh, in high school. That's where I learned about Feast or Famine. Seven years and the little cows and the little dance. So prepare for that, okay? Also keeping to a budget. I mean, that's just, again, just a good thing to do overall. The biggest waste I see in art supplies, besides me up here demonstrating things for people, the biggest waste I see is people not taking care of their stuff. You gotta take care of your stuff. Take care of those brushes, okay? Take care to make sure that you're not leaving your paints in a hot car, because sometimes that can lead to gross. This, this stuff can um, be damaged if you don't take care of it, okay? So it's very important that you maintain what you have so you don't have to reinvest. That's just a waste of money. That's a good tip, right? Yeah, you like that. And I did a whole video, a whole frequently asked question on how to clean an oil painting brush. We'll put a link up to that. Yeah, I already watched that. It was good. It was good. We talked about hair and stuff. It's fun. Another thing. Buy in bulk, okay? Buy in bulk whenever possible. Now, don't buy in bulk just to buy in bulk. I mean, if you're not going to go through a gallon of peanut butter, you're just going to be wasting it, okay? Olivia knows me too well. She's giving me the eye like, you've bought that peanut butter, you schmuck. But buy in bulk. If you know that you're going to be using a lot of the same canvas because you like to do the same size or you have a consistent um, price point that you offer commission work or your school always asks for 12 by 16 just because this is an example, buy in bulk when you can. Prepare. Um, and, and, and it's always a price break when you buy in bulk. I mean, that is a good way to prepare, and that's also preventing you from having to make multiple trips out of your studio, okay? And that's really another thing that I'm gonna get back to, because this video is really about getting people to stay on the art topic, and I'll get to that later. All right, I'm gonna get in big trouble for this one, okay? <laughs> Wait for sales, okay? There's always sales, especially in art supplies. I don't think I've been on the Jerry's Art of Rama website in the last five years and there hasn't been some kind of sale going on. 10% off, 20% off, buy this, buy that. You know, wait for a sale that, you know, works for you, okay? And, 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 and try to, you know, work the system. You know, I shouldn't, I shouldn't say that. Somebody's gonna yell at me. If nobody's really, really yelled at me if some of the stuff I've already gotten away with, I think I'll be okay with this, but we'll find out. Another thing when it comes to buying in bulk, all right, uh, there are different types of sales. So if you buy something and you get an extra 10% off, that's a great, you know, little discount. But sometimes you can find those, oh, you love the anachronism, the BOGO. Buy one, get one free. That is like, what is that, 50% or 100% savings? If you get one free, that's awesome. I don't even know if we do BOGOs. Actually, the new thing, bumming me out, man. They're now BOGO hoes. It's not buy one, get one free. It's buy one, get one half off. It's the hoe that screws you every time. It's still a savings. It might not be as much of a savings, but if you can get the BOGO hoe, take it. You know, if you can get the BOGO, even better. Now, I think a great way that you can save money on art supplies is buy a Jerry's. Yeah, that, that, that makes up for it, right? You know, that comes from buying in bulk, uh, you know, passing those discounts along and it's actually turning into something else. This is, uh, this is actually pretty interesting, okay? I, we've never done this before. Let me just get rid of this. 
you might notice this thing here, okay? We have, I mean, really the goal of Jerry's, okay, is we want to keep you in the studio painting as long as possible. And we want to make sure that you can afford to keep doing that art, okay? This is the latest brainchild at Jerry's at RM, okay? Jerry's Food Buckets. Jerry's is starting a subscription service where you can pre-order food that's shipped directly to your house. I mean, it comes right to you, okay? And this is great stuff. Not only that, we actually are putting it in our art bin so you even get art supply storage along with that. But just think about how much time you're gonna save. I mean, thinking about what you're gonna make or going to the grocery store. You can subscribe and save by going to Jerry's. Look, it comes with cutlery. You've got, I don't know, we got what, chili mac with beef. You like that, Will. We got rice and chicken. I mean, we are doing this for you. This subscribe and save service is going to revolutionize the art industry because artists are going to be able to stay in their studios and produce more art and not worry about frivolous stuff like nutrition or eating. On your doorstep with a full art supply storage bucket when it's empty, you are going to be able to do art and eat at the same time. And if you would like to subscribe and save, all you have to do is type in on the Jerry's and Arma website the keyword below. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're having fun here. We're not really doing this. I mean, maybe you're going to be pissed off because like, I want my food bucket, but I don't think you are. I mean, this is just like one of these zombie emergency kits that we picked up. Happy April, happy spring, happy day. So I know that I'm making light. I know that I'm joking, but I always want to actually have a real message in there. And I hope that some of these things would be helpful to you. And I also would like for you to share your own money saving techniques or tips. Maybe you want to buy all your paint thinner at you know, a hardware store. You know, there are different things that you can do out there, so I wanna know what you're doing to save money to prevent starvation for your art. As much as we joke, there is that you know, serious side to it. So let me know how you are saving money below. The word of the day, no, the message of the day. So the message of the day is be prepared, okay? Be prepared to eat, be prepared in your art, and be prepared for me on Instagram at Mike Not Jerry, where I think the guys are gonna make me eat some of this stuff. So if you wanna see what that's like, you gotta go on there, haha. <laughs> so yeah, they're gonna make me eat some of this stuff. So uh, join us on Instagram where uh, you can uh, catch some behind the scenes clips, other fun stuff, and uh, happy painting. And what was the last thing I wanna say? Oh, keep watching. Yeah, is that nice? I actually had to write that down for some reason. I don't know why. And yeah, this is just what I do now. I, I, I waste everybody's time. No, I think there's good information in there. I think most people that know me right now don't expect me to come here and sell them a food bucket, but you know, you never know with me. You're ready to spoon after this, right? All right, well, who can argue with that? <laughs>